Oh, goddamn. Charleston White. Make a nigga want to yeah. fight like Charleston White because he said a few words, but the wrong or right. Mm, nobody is damn about that. <laughs> you right. In the middle of the night when the ghosts go bump. I'm looking for the fur D with a nice hump. Sack so fat sitting on the tree stump and I'm having to the game without the prenup. No, I wrote a song about Charleston White. So Charleston White, <coughs> uh, he funny, man. He's a comedian. You know, I mean, he, 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 pe- <coughs> he pepper sprays some bulls. You know, you, you know, uh, he, I, he just talking. And, and see, basically, that's what life is right now. That's why, I, <laughs> that's why Mo being so successful with what he's doing because you can't have no fear. You, so, so I don't agree with everything he says, especially with the domestic shit. Like, you know, I don't fuck around like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? My, or my, my, or my family is Mexican. You know, I, you know, I'm from Philly. And in Philly is mostly Puerto Ricans. Yeah. But once I got out the, to the see the world and I moved to Texas, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm from the hood. I'm from the hood. Nice town, North Philadelphia. You know, niggas, I seen one white dude in my life called White Boy Tracy. And he was the coolest white boy I ever knew in my life. This was in Philly. But once I got out of Philly and start seeing, you know, more to the world in Texas, you know, I'm like, you know, so I, you know, I would never, ever, ever disrespect another race. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of, I got a theory for y'all. If anybody that's still on this, listen, I got a theory. If everybody was the same color, same shape, same size, same everything, it still won't be problems and conflict because we all think different. We all think different. But the racism thing is the thing that is created. But of course, if you see somebody different, you know, you have your, uh, you know, hey, what's going on? Who is that? Why they look like that? But the racism thing is just created. They, people created these situations because, I mean, it's going to be conflicts in life regardless. So, Charleston White, man, for you to say that, bro, I think you really, you know, you, that's, 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 that's. But the that's, thing is, 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 I think he got a Mexican baby mama that, you know, so he, he got a half Mexican. So he's probably just saying that for shock value, but, but, but I, you know, I, I think he called, I think he probably, you know, said, said too much, but everybody said a little bit too much online. You well, know well I, mean? I think the part that really got me, I understand, he, okay, say so he said he hated mm-hmm. all male Mexicans, but he'll fuck some Mexican. Okay, chicks. okay, yeah, yeah. And then, hey. and then, but, but, but the worst part was that he said, Fuck them kid, the Mexican kids that motherfucking died in the Uvalde. Why shooting. would he say that? Why would bro? Why would you say my bad? Um, why would you say that about kids? Okay, you did. I do remember hearing that. So yeah, man, I hate to say it, Charles the White, and I'm black, my nigga. Like I'm black, but I fuck with a lot of Mexican. Real tough. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? But I fuck with everybody. My homeboy Tony Rex, white boy. I love him like my brother. You understand what I'm saying? But bro, why would you disrespect some kid? Like why would you? I understand shock, but these is kids. I got a little daughter. She she this. You know what I mean? The Oh, I want to boom, but you know, so you know, you gonna use your powers for good or you gonna use it for evil? I know you do stuff in the community, Charleston White, and stuff like that, but you know, raise up your integrity, raise up your dignity, bro. Like you already get in the bag. I think you you should speak now that you have the spotlight on you. You need to speak more of. Uh, I, mean, I don't know the word formative, more respectfully, you know what I'm saying, so that you can rise and you can grow and do bigger things for the community. You're not doing doing nothing helping nobody by dividing us by saying F them. That is the horrible, my man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, bro, yeah, I didn't know he said that. You know, my bad. I didn't yeah, yeah. get emotional on that, but that's... Yeah, no, nah, I mean, you know, it, you know, it takes you there, though. It takes you there because I'm like, wow, did he really say that? So, somebody hit me up and said... Did you see this? And I was like, wow. Yeah. It's like, how do you ignore that, though? Like, it's... Yes, yeah, it's, sh- it's the sh- It's definitely the shock value because, you know, but, 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 you know, he probably mean it or whatever, but at the end of the day, we, we don't preach that. We can't preach that, bro. We can't, like, we can't preach the, that, 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 that hate to hate a person because of who they are or what they are. That's, that's, that's that bullshit, bro. That's that, that's, that's, you know. The topics have been coming up all week, though, like, you know, even from... People from Cali, they're on the comments. They, they talk back. They talk recklessly. So, like, you know, we don't, I don't know, we don't, we don't do that down here. But, you know, 
Some people might, but I, I, I know in my circle we don't get down like that. Well, well, let me let me let me give you a little bit of uh, inside knowledge. When I say that the racism thing is like fabricated, like see, so they already, you know, when I say they, you know, they have experiments put the black community in, you know, bad positions, and so the black community in bad positions, and then. The Hispanics that's out here doing their thing, instead of having programs to help the poor people get together and come up with each other, it's like your boy was saying, he got a bang to go to school and he got a bang to get back. Mm-hmm. That's because you got a broke nigga, you don't got nothing to do, he don't know no better. But as we grow, we learn to love each other. As we grow, we because we, we got to because that's the only way that we're gonna make it. But like I said, the cause and division is a different thing. Man. If we was all the same color, same shape, same size, it's always gonna be a conflict because we think different. But the color, the race thing is 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 is, is, is a made up thing. It's some shit that. What I was trying to tell them though is like, okay, so yeah, the Mexicans about the the, the, the skin color thing. But in Mexico, there's Mexicans of every single color. That's black, white, white, all that. Them of us don't know lick of English, but they're Mexican, man. They, they, they. You know, you you'll see a white guy with the green eyes, you know, or you'll see the, the dark black guy, like one of my uncles out there. You know right. what I'm saying? And uh, right. he used to work the shrimp boat in, in uh, Matamoros. You know what I'm saying? Getting his own shrimp. So you know, he was for real. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, Latinos, Mexicans, whatever. Um, from all over there. I mean, there's there's black Hondurans. You know what I'm saying? There's you know, you, you just gotta understand, bro. Yeah. So 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 to, just to sum it up, yeah. you know, I understand where the homie was coming from, saying he had to, but but see, the people set it up like that. They set it up like that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, in order to for the, us to survive, we gotta get along. But anybody ain't gonna get along because we don't think the same. But it's right. not the skin color because you know if if if, if if I see a Hispanic man being done wrong by any race, I'm going to help him out. If I see a white man being done wrong by any race, if I can help him, I'm going to help him out. If I see a Chinese man being done wrong by any race, I'm going to try to help him out. Or even if a motherfucker got like a flat tire, you're not going to be like, oh, this guy's this kind of skin color, I'm not going to help him. Oh, with man, you know bro, you know how bad I hate asking for a <laughs> jump? But yeah. I, but sometimes you got to do it. So, you know, so, you know, we don't want to get too off into it, but the racism thing is it's a fabrication. But but it takes time for the people to grow. And once they start getting the solution to coming together, because we conversations about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then then that's when people try to break it up and divide it. People like Charleston White. Yeah. So yeah, man. Let's let's move forward. But you know, I just wanted to bring that up a little bit. It's all good. And I talk about it because I feel like it needs to be talked about. You know, if it's not talked about, then you know nobody's giving a fuck. You know what so, I mean? And they and, they're, and they act like you know and they're turning their head to it basically. Right, right. But uh, fuck it. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, my boy said he got a uh, sub- one of his family members was a survivor of the uh, the shooting. So. I couldn't imagine, bro. It's scary. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to be sending my daughter to school. I do. I'll probably be up to school or posted up. I don't know, man. But but glad that she made it out of there, bro. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You know, that's, you know, that's, you know, much love to your family and anybody else that made it out of there. 